comes Doug and now Thea. What's up, Doug? <laughs> He's growing a little bit more this week. Okay, ready? There you go, be nice. There you go, be nice. What's up, Doug? Yeah, he's a good dog. How are you guys doing, Eric? Here today is June 6th, 2015, Saturday. It's a beautiful morning up here in Gilpin County. After all the storms we've been having. Well, the sun was out. I was hoping to get nice sunny weather for this video because everything's so much nicer on video with the sunshine. But looks like the clouds are going to come back in. But yeah, we've had some wicked storms here the past few days all over the this part of Colorado. With here we've had lightning, thunder, and hail winds, torrential rain, flooding, and just to the east in the flatlands around Denver, we've had two days in a row now with tornadoes, which is, I mean, it's not unheard of here in Colorado, but and we have tornadoes every year, but the tornadoes we're having now are much more powerful, They're like F4, F5 tornadoes. You know, when usually we just have, oh, there's a big old trout right there. F2, F1s, you know, mostly. Look at that trout's just sitting there. Doesn't seem to be bothered by the doggy. I don't know if it'll show up on the video. It's a nice looking trout. Yeah. Normally that's all we get is just small little tornadoes do very little damage. Well now, you know, they're destroying houses, destroying lives. I mean, and every time, it seems like every time we have a storm now, there's a tornado. I just can't, all I can say is weather control, man. Not weather manipulation, not freaking anything but weather straight out control man that's all it is of course that's crazy to believe right you believe that they control the weather you're crazy you know even though they've been talking about it for years and years and years controlling the weather but no we're not supposed to believe that they're actually doing it no that's only for but yeah they want us to believe it's it's caused by man-made, can you say it, man-made climate change is the term they use now. You know, back 30 years ago, it was the, the greenhouse effect. Then it became global warming, and now it's climate change. And I'm sure there's a few other terms that they've used over the years. You know, because they changed it to climate change because... It's been proven that the weather is not warming. The world is not warming up. So they had to get rid of the global warming term and change it to climate change. And I'm sure next thing it'll become global cooling when we start sliding into the next ice age. <laughs> I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, they want us to believe it's all because of man-made climate change. That we're doing it to ourselves, you know. It's like it's like when you take a little kid's hand and hit him in the head with it and say, Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. That's what they're doing to us, man. They're blaming everything on us. They're doing it. They're controlling the weather and blaming it on us. It's fucking disgusting, man. It pisses me off, man. But anyway, yeah, that's what's going on in the weather. I'm sure we're gonna have more thunderstorms today. I had a wicked one last night, man. Just like lightning all over. It sounded like bombs going off. But yeah. That's what's going on in Colorado this week. Wicked weather. Tornadoes. But uh, what else is going on? Last week, 
All we kept hearing about was fucking Bruce Jenner. Or Caitlyn Jenner, you know. This goddamn in betweeny with tits and a weenie. <laughs> it's like, that's what we used to call him back in the day. But yeah, it's just this whole fucking agenda going on. The whole LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. They, they lump them all into one group. That's what it's become now. And now the, you know, like, it's become such a fucking media fucking circus on this Bruce Jenner thing. Fucking makes me ill, man. Like, every time they talk about it on the news, man, all they say is, oh, I'm so proud of it. I call it an it. It's not a woman or a man. It's an it. Oh, we're so proud of her. Now they're calling it a her. She's so brave. You know, one of the funniest comments I saw in a video last week was was on a, a Free Radio Revolution did this video on Bruce Jenner and the White House talking about it. What's his name? Josh Ernest. Was t- you could just see him kind of smirking under his foot. But all, all they talk about is, oh, how brave he she is and how much courage it takes to do what she did. And this one guy says, left a comment and said, it didn't take courage. It took balls to do what she did. <laughs> oh, man, that was hilarious, man. It took balls to do what she did. I thought that was fucking funny. But, uh... Yeah, that's what's going on, man. This whole fucking agenda. And every fucking, all over the news, all week long, how brave she is for doing what she did. And what a one, you know. I remember back in the day when it was a fucking abomination, man, to be like that. You know, when we it was looked down on and fucking frowned upon. You know, now it's... You know, most people still do, you know, but they want us to believe that, you know, it's so acceptable. It's almost ideal. It's almost better than being straight is to be a fucking freak like that. You know, they want us. It's just a obvious ploy to further destroy our society. You know, that's what it is. It's all their agenda is to totally destroy America, which they're doing a damn good job of it because this place is fucked. And, uh, yeah, that's, and then we got this other story about this kid who touched his sisters inappropriately. I can't remember the name. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's not right. I mean, it's fucking weird and strange and wrong, but do we really need so much fucking media coverage on it? I mean, that kind of shit happens in the world, you know, and why all of a sudden... It becomes a a top story on every fucking news channel. And, uh, you know, our whole media is a fucking joke. So fucking control. You know, it's so obvious. I mean, how controlled everything is and how fucking wrong. uh, How they, they just love to talk about how fucked up America is and how sick we all are and how sexually deviant we all are and how it's great to be gay and uh. so yeah all that's been going on this week this whole fucking sexual deviance and goddamn gay agenda fucking in our face 24 7 talking about how great and wonderful Caitlyn Jenner is oh god if I have to see that fucking face anymore I'm gonna fucking puke <laughs> and, uh, and of course, there's no shortage in the news this week of the antics of ISIS, the CIA Mossad-controlled fucking proxy army made to fucking keep us in a state of freaking constant fear of terrorism. God damn, I'm sick of it. I never see any fucking rag towel heads running around threatening people like the, like the cops do. Coming up to me and saying, I smell like marijuana. Pulling me over and say, mind if we search your vehicle? I think we sniff a little marijuana on you. You know, trying to just look for any reason to destroy your fucking life for nothing. 
That's what the cops do. They're the terrorists. And they work for the terrorists above them. The way I see it is the ones that go around calling people terrorists, those are the terrorists. The ones that are pointing their finger at everybody, calling people terrorists, those are the terrorists. The ones that pretend to, to say they, they must protect us and keep us safe are the terrorists. What else happened this week? Oh yeah, there was a cyber attack just like I predicted in my last video. But it wasn't quite as bad as we as, as the big one that's coming. It's just another little attack to keep us thinking about how the internet has to change. You know how they gotta they gotta take control of the internet because it was a, it was supposedly well there was a cyber attack most likely pulled off by the NSA and of course blamed on China and that's that's a big agenda now I think is to shut down the internet and control it because of the cyber attacks going on but yeah there was there was another big one last week it was a pretty good one man I mean millions of government workers were affected by it I guess so yeah just like I predicted I mean it, it doesn't take a freaking Einstein or any kind of rocket surgeon to figure out that there's going to be more cyber attacks but I tell you what every single attack is self-inflicted by the NSA and blamed on others even if they have other people carry it out for them it's still it's self-inflicted man it's they, they, that's what that's how they roll since you know it's been going on since way before 9-11 in the cyber world and the real world. Yeah, it's just really fucking sad what's going on in this world today. From the fucking lion puppet turd in chief in the White House all the way down to the fucking piece of shit pig on the street going around smelling marijuana everywhere he goes. It's just a sad state of affairs, man. And the fucking LGBT agenda to destroy the fucking society. Everywhere you turn, man, they're just attacking us. It's just unfucking believable, man. How desperate they are to destroy this fucking so called country. Look at this puddle here, man. This is a. This didn't used to be here. Here's a sign of how fucking saturated this place is. This, is, this wasn't even here after the flood of 2013. This, this pond just keeps rising and rising. and It just never goes back down. It just keeps getting higher every year. I heard one interesting theory of why they're flooding Colorado. Because the fucking feds are pissed off because of the marijuana thing. I think that's a very plausible theory. Yeah, that's a beautiful spot right here. This is where I usually find a lot of snakes. But yeah, speaking of Bruce Gender, you know, I think the guy's just an actor playing the role. <coughs> he was forced to do it. I don't think he really wanted to do it to be all this in the spotlight like he is. He's just another puppet actor like the president playing his role to destroy society. You know, to make us all believe that, oh, it's so brave to be a transgender. Trans, Bruce transgender. Yeah, it's, it's really disgusting, man. They forced him to do it, or they bribed him with money, or they just threatened him. Either you do it or else, you know. That's how they roll. You, you, we made you famous, and now, you, now we're going to use you in a to do something for us. And that's what that's what goes on. So yeah, that's what's going on this week, people. Freaking sad, it's sickening. 
disgusting, disturbing, and it's the truth, man. That's what's really going on, man. They're controlling the weather, They're fucking controlling the fucking media, making us believe that it's okay to be gay. It's a big part of their agenda. People in America, the so-called country of America, we don't believe to hear the truth. We don't deserve the truth. All we deserve is to be lied to by our masters. Herded it and pushed off the cliff, and that's where we're going. Sorry to say it, but that's what's going on, man. They're, they're behind on their schedule to kill us all off, so they're getting more and more desperate. That's what's going on this week. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.